Preface I love the deepness of the Christian mystics. There is something truly special about them, and their wisdom can undeniably aid us in our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. I first learned about Meister Eckhart from A.W. Tozer. Because of my reverence for this man, I had full confidence that Meister Eckhart must have been a man of God and had held to sound biblical teaching. So I looked him up and began to learn from him. It was during a time of great spiritual growth within my life, and I was hungry for the best teachings. Meister Eckhart surely did not disappoint me, as I am sure he will not disappoint you. His grasp on the unity we can have with God is beyond the mass majority of teachings I have listened to. Each sentence is profound and filled with humble wisdom and devotion. I truly love this man and am so grateful for his amazing words. May you be blessed in the reading of this book. I only want what's best for the body of Christ, so please, my friend, cause your soul to be open to the richness of this work. Bless you. William Crockett, President of God Sounds, Inc. Chapter 1. The Attractive Power of God No one can come unto me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. St. John 6, 44 Our Lord Jesus Christ hath in the gospel spoken with his own blessed lips these words which signify, No man can come to me unless my Father draw him. In another place he says, I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Therefore whoever cometh to the Son cometh to the Father. Further he saith, I and the Father are one. Therefore whomsoever the Father draweth, the Son draweth likewise. St. Augustine also saith, The works of the Holy Trinity are inseparable from each other. Therefore the Father draweth to the Son, and the Son draweth to the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost draweth to the Father and the Son. And each person of the Trinity, when he draweth to the two orders, draweth to himself, because the three are one. The Father draweth with the might of his power, the Son draweth with his unfathomable wisdom, the Holy Ghost draweth with his love. Thus we are drawn by the sacred trinity with the cords of power, wisdom, and love when we are drawn from an evil thing to a good thing, and from a good thing to a better, and from a better thing to the best of all. Now the Father draws us from the evil of sin to the goodness of His grace with the might of His measureless power, and He needs all the resources of His strength in order to convert sinners, more than when He was about to make heaven and earth, which He made with His own power without help from any creature. But when He is about to convert a sinner, He always needs the sinner's help. He converts thee not without thy help, as St. Augustine says. Therefore, deadly sin is a breach of nature, a death of the soul, a disquiet of the heart, a weakening of power, a blindness of the sense, a sorrow of the spirit, a death of grace, a death of virtue, a death of good works, an aberration of the spirit a fellowship with the devil, an expulsion of Christianity, a dungeon of hell, a banquet of hell, an eternity of hell. Therefore, if thou committest a deadly sin, thou art guilty of all these, and incurrest their consequences. Thank you for listening to this sample. The full-length audiobook may be purchased exclusively at audible.com, amazon.com, or the iTunes store. 
For additional Christian audiobooks or to learn how we can narrate your own book, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard.